Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I thought I'd go through and show you guys where you can find tax documents on the Robinhood application. I know this has been a very popular comment thread on a number of recent videos. Exactly where can you find tax documents on the Robinhood application? And then later in the video, I'll help you guys find the Help Center, which can answer some more sophisticated tax questions that you may have concerning the Robinhood application. First, just want to point out in a very explicit fashion, I am not a tax professional. I cannot offer tax advice, but I can kind of show you guys how to access tax documents where you can download and then use those documents to file your federal and state income taxes. As you can see here on screen, we have the front page pulled up. If you click on the three bars on the left upper hand portion of the screen, you can see another set of menus pop up. If you click on the account icon there, you can see another menu pops up. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can see way on the bottom there, tax documents. If you go ahead and click on that, you can see a number of different tax uh, documents pop up here. Again, there are some corrections that are done on the Robinhood application, depending on what types of underlying investments you have. For example, I know real estate investment trusts or REITs typically report very late. So you may have an initial tax document sent out and then at a later point, an additional one correcting and updating that prior document. If you click on any of the documents, you can see that it will start downloading in PDF format here. You can see open with Adobe Acrobat. Go ahead and download You can download those. You can open those up or go ahead and email those over to your PC computer where you can do the rest of your tax filings. Print those off and then send those in uh, to your tax professional who does your taxes. Or you may do those yourself. You can go ahead and print off a copy to send in with your taxes. So very, very easy to do. Very easy to uh, access as well. Uh, not like a lot of the other brokerage accounts that send it to you automatically. Just go ahead and download those, print those off, and they are uh, to be essentially used with your federal and state income taxes when you go ahead and file. And on the bottom there, you can see there is a little bit of an incentive to use TurboTax if you are so inclined. Robinhood offers a discount, as you can see on the bottom there, $15 off TurboTax. Simply click that link and you can claim your discount. Uh, now, if you want to go into the information part of the application, go ahead and click back out of this to the main menu. And then on the main menu here, you can see at the bottom a help screen icon. Go ahead and click on that. And then you can go into the help center right up on top there under support. And the way I do this is simply to type in tax uh, on the screen here. And I'll pull up a number of different documents that you can go through and guide you through some more sophisticated tax questions that you may have. The tax center up on top is a very nice button to use. General tax questions here. It goes through in a very simple way, some very common scenarios that you may encounter. Uh, for example, what if there's no cost basis on my 1099? And that's a document that Robinhood uh, will use for uh, any dividends that you may have received. If my account is closed, how do I access my document? So a number of very common scenarios uh, that the application here has uh, apparently received in the past and have put do uh, documents out about that. Wash sale, what is that exactly? I put a few videos out about that as well. It gets very, very complicated. So a number of different menus here that you can access. If we click back out of this as well, you can see tax documents, corrections, trouble tax, all of the other things that we have uh, kind of reviewed on that prior menu. So a very nice set of documents here. Again, there's a number of different menus here. A lot of these will go to the same types of uh, uh, information that uh, was accessed before, but a number of different ways of getting to the same information. Has a lot of uh, very good advice on the application here, but again, I think it points out somewhere as well that tax advice cannot be offered on this application. You definitely have to go to a tax professional to get uh, specific tax advice and questions answered about uh, your particular tax scenario. So just wanted to go through that very quickly here where you can access your tax documents as well as if you have some common questions where you can access that on the Robinhood application through the Help Center. So I hope this helps you guys out finding exactly where to get those documents. Again, I know this has been a very common theme on a number of videos I've posted. Uh, there's still a lot of time to file your taxes. Uh, so go ahead, get into the application, download, download those files to your phone, and then you can send those over to your computer, print those out, uh, send those to your tax professional, or use those for your own tax filings at the uh, tax time uh, season here. So just wanted to do that video here. And not to make the video too long, I'll kind of end it here. Again, if you guys have any questions about how to do any of this on the screen here, let me know. Uh, it's fairly easy once you do it a couple times to find out exactly where those tax documents are. Go ahead and download those, print those off, and then send those to your tax professional. 
uh, and they'll take care of the rest for you. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And kind of with that, I'll end the video. Again, if you guys have any great video ideas, please let me know. Always looking for new things to read up on and research. Any good stock picks. I know you guys have been giving a lot of great stock picks. I definitely appreciate that. Keep those coming. So again, please let me know if you guys have any great video ideas. And kind of with that, I'll end the video, and we'll see you guys next time.